This is courtesy of the Golden Hour again, last clip from the show, where they speak about movie stars. And I feel like Chris is projecting a lot. There's a lot of kind of hurt feelings on Chris's side because of how his career kind of like, you know, flattened out and stuff after the whole pedo allegations and the whole diddler shit and creeper stuff. So maybe stuff ain't going well for that guy. Uh, but yeah, he sounded very hurt in this regard. So let me just double check this. What people are saying in the chat? If you have one acting like Elon Musk funny episode dude you had a podcast with him for years the rock is shack to everyone until shack comes around is the rock six five people are saying the rock is six five okay cool you have no idea who he is exactly the rock is suspect or a suspect of him what suspect okay cool let's continue so this is them talking about it um movie stars and shit i thought this was really interesting because like i said i feel like chris had a lot of kind of like pent-up aggression about his own failed career again he only has himself to blame you know maybe if you stop you know diddling you would have had a little career there yourself but he has some interesting things to say about being a movie star and stuff and podcast success translating to movies obviously this is to be the burt crashes movie the machine bombing in the box office so they're kind of talking about that without talking about it so it's gonna, it's gonna be funny to hear what burt says when he finds out these comics are saying what they're saying because i'm sure his position is like now that you guys will die to be in my position so he's probably going to be you know he'd probably be a bit aggrieved to say like you know to hear guys like these guys who are clearly like bench players talking about what he's doing and how they would have done it and stuff so let's play anyway regardless the Ooh. movies have to change it's not I, I don't i don't think that you can take somebody from a podcast and make them a movie star in their own movie I think they need to. It's like, dude, you, you switching mediums is hard. Okay, hard. remember when David Schwimmer tried to become a movie star? He just took leads in movies and then wasn't a movie star. I have to kind of disagree with him that way, especially when it comes to Burton specifically. I don't think Burt could have done anything else but that movie. He's not going to be a movie star in any other way. Like, sorry, Burt can't play anybody else but Burt. So unless he kind of does. I don't know, what kind of character could he do? I don't get, like, I mean, like, I understand what Chris is saying. You have to kind of earn your stripes kind of thing and do, like, supporting roles. But I don't think Burt could have done anything else apart from the machine or acted like himself in a movie. So there was no other option. It was kind of like he had to go for it, right? It was kind of like a sink or swim type of affair. And unfortunately, with this one, he sunk. So that's the only issue at play. So I don't think it's to do with really translating. It's just to do with, you know, the movie wasn't good. He's not a good actor, and it kind of just did what it did. You need to, if you're switching mediums, meaning from TV to movies back then, now it matters less, but now it's internet to movies. Dude, you're not going to get somebody who clicks on something like the laziest piece of shit that's like, oh, the new episode's out. <laughs> that person's going to pay $25 to wait in line and go right, to a movie? It, They're yeah. not. It doesn't so work. So I disagree with you. Well, what do you mean? Case in point the, every the day. No, no, no. no. I'm beg the differ. I'm, I'm, I don't, I'm, I'm saying... <laughs> beg the differ. You hear that? Beg the differ there. Let's go back there again. Let's hear that. Beg the differ. I agree with you. Well, what do you mean? Case in the, point the every day. No, no, no. no, no I'm beg the differ. I'm, I'm, I'm... <laughs> Why doesn't anyone correct him? <laughs> beg the differ. <laughs> I don't. I'm. I'm saying one more time. Well, what do you mean? Case in point. The, the every day. No, 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 no. no. I'm beg the, the differ. I, I, I don't. I... <laughs> beg the differ. <laughs> I fucking love it. Beg the differ. I'm, I'm saying I'm gonna make a different point. Mm -hmm. But to, to pile on his point, but it's like even Logan Paul has done movies. They've always. I was in shit. one of those movies. Yeah. Yeah. No, but shit. that's not the. That's okay. Again, mm -hmm. I think the point's a different point. Mm -hmm. The people that click what you're saying, they actually pay $25, $30, 40 50 to go watch these people at do stand-up. What I'm saying is this. They do pay that money. Mm. What I'm saying is this. It's not a lot of people. Mm -hmm. But in the podcast world, you don't need a lot of people to be a multimillionaire and right, successful. Right, 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 right. But in the movie oh, business, on that yeah. level, you need a lot of people. You right. Okay. I disagree with this because I understand what they're trying to say. It, put, it basically costs too much to make movies nowadays like you can't really nowadays like you can't really like do like fun self no um what you call it um not self-absorbed what's that word i'm trying to look for um you can't really do like fun projects just for the fuck of it they kind of have to be like big projects that are kind of backed by people and if they're back they're gonna have want to have their say in it they're gonna want to have notes they're gonna put pressure on you and it's going to end up turning out to be something that you didn't intend it to be. Blah, 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 blah. 
But I think fundamentally, the one thing that these guys are missing out on this conversation, there's not conversation around like, is the movie good objectively? Is it written well? Is it produced well? Is it shot well? Are the people in the movie actually good actors? Are they actually funny? Is the script good? They're not really actually mentioning that. It's mostly a thing of like, oh, it's the numbers, 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 which probably says a lot about them as comedians and maybe where they are in LA and stuff and how they look at stuff. But I feel like movies, for as much stick as they get in nowadays, modern ones, that you have to kind of be, a, you know, they have to be within, they have to be done for a particular political, social lens, fair enough. But I think at the heart of it, good movie is a good movie. A good movie is a good movie. And if the actors are good and it's got good writing and it's a funny movie, people will eventually flock to it and convince everybody else, hey, you should go watch this. The word will spread, you know, like good movies do. Like I'm sure some of you guys are the same. You hear about good TV series from your friends or good movies from your friends or documentaries and shit that you should check out. And then you go and check them out. So I think these guys are missing out on that component. Like, I think they're just assuming because they're funny um, that somehow that gives them a license to, I don't know, translate that into the com the movie role thing, which isn't really necessarily the case. And you have to kind of be good at what you do, isn't it? Like anything else you do in life, you kind of have to be good at it. I would imagine so. Um, but hey, what can I say here? Bu -bu 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 -bu. You 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 be a massive name. What I'm saying like is, Bert's a massive name as far as comic podcasting. Bert's not massive like fucking Robert De Niro. No, and where, even Robert De Niro was, that was in Sebastian. Back in movie. the day, well, not Robert De Niro now. It, that movie, it's a uh, different hey, it, medium though. No, no, but, I, I, he's not yeah. Chris Pratt. Famous, no, no, I, I understand. You can't that, walk but in that media. If, if you were, if you were like, if you put out something mm -hmm. that was like. And all you and you spent, you know, however much you spent to make mm -hmm, it, mm -hmm. and then you generated five, six million dollars mm -hmm, from it because mm -hmm. that's your podcast audience. Yeah. That's great, Ball, of course. Yeah, but if you had to spend, Hollywood, yeah. if you spent thirty five million dollars yeah. on a movie, yeah, that's a good right. point. And you only make that. Yeah. It's to the movie business, they feel like that's a failure. There, there's, there's, but I, no, but it is a failure. That's the thing. There is a failure because you took the movie business's money to make your movie, so you have to kind of make back what they give you. It's just basic, you know, basic maths, basic business. Um, but again, I feel like there's a lack of understanding of good movies. Al Pacino, Robert De Niro, these guys have bad movies, but they're still sensational actors, but they can sometimes star in terrible movies or sometimes they can be good. They can be bad in good movies. It just is what it is. Like a good movie is a good movie, a bad movie is a bad movie, but ultimately the punters sort of decide on that factor. And if you don't get a second chance, it's usually because the movie is not good, not because of some crazy metrics thing, in my opinion. I'm saying the podcast anyway. Go there, on. There's one guy in podcast, and to your point, there's <laughs> one guy in podcast who could actually, I think, jump that, jump over there, and get guess who he's gonna say? Guess who he's gonna say? Guess who he's gonna say? <laughs> who do you think he's gonna slob on? Who do you think he's gonna suck off in this section here? This has absolutely nothing to do with the guy. They're having a pretty interesting debate. Loads of good points are being made, right, about the movie industry. It's actually a pretty decent conversation they're having here. Maybe some introspection about the scene. Maybe an appreciation of what how what how hard it is to be a movie star. Blah blah blah. This is a good conversation. Who do you think he's going to fucking back out the fucking knee pads for? Who do you think he's going to get one of those things? You're in a car in a garage where they lie on that little that little skateboard thing that so they can fix it. He probably gets on one of those to slide across and slob on a knob. Who do you think he's going to mention here? Who do you think? Hey, who do you think? Get that fan base and be Rogan. No, nope. if Rogan was back, of course, of fucking course, is Joe Rogan. Imagine seeing the non-success of the machine, right, with Burt Kreischer in it. A movie about his life, a movie about a comedy. No, a movie about a particular comedy bit that did millions, if not billions, of views across all of the social media platforms. If I'm not mistaken, the law around. The machine story is that it blew up on like Facebook first or something, right? But it's got millions of views in probably the hundreds of millions. It's not, it's not billions, but hundreds of millions of views. It's a really popular um, fucking bit. Bert's really popular too. Maybe one of the more popular, famous guys out of the JRE crew. He's instantly recognizable for people that are fans of the JRE. And his movie flopped. What makes them think? What makes Brendan think Joe's movie will be any better? Will do any better than Bert's? Considering how well known Bert is, considering how everybody loved that fucking machine story, Russian mafia story, like what makes them think that 
Joe would be would do any better in the movie. Somebody who's actively pushed away any kind of acting role, media role in the slightest and just kind of got his own little niche, his own little corner of the world with these podcasts. It's a very big corner, big engagement, big listenership. But if Bert couldn't do it, Rogan has no chance. Come on, let's be real. I disagree Batman. too. I if Rogan was Batman, if anyone would Batman, sell. No, dude. If anyone's Batman, it would sell. But my point, no, I if disagree. If they know who it is. I, yeah. I, I, I disagree. I, 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 I agree no, with I you, I don't Chris. think so, bro. Yeah, I don't think so either. Because let me tell you something. <laughs> Jesse L. Jesse L. Make me laugh. <laughs> Rogan's going to make a movie about the most difficult time of his life. Those two weeks he worked construction with his stepdad. <laughs> Oh my god, bro, he won't shut up about those two weeks, isn't it? Those two weeks he had to work with the paws. And he was like, nah, I can't do this. I can't this can't be my regular life. Like, fucking shut up about this shit. <laughs> or that one time he went to or that one time he was doing security at that metal show. That's a story he talks about, isn't it, right? He used to be a bouncer at metal shows and stuff, and everyone started fighting and he just like left midway through and said, I'm never coming back, sort of thing. He loves that story. Or he would do a movie about um, how hard it is to go into cold plunges and shit. Because <laughs> he's there's, famous beyond no, no, podcast. Brandon, Brandon. Just still there's with this. movie stars. I'm Batman. Joe Rogan's still with this. <laughs> I'm Batman with the fucking microphone. Yeah. Still with a podcast mic. It's, like, it's on the magazine. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> From his utility yeah. belt. <laughs> Jamie's his Robin. Liberals, you know. yeah. <laughs> Jamie, Jamie, pull that up. <laughs> <laughs> Jamie's Robin. He's sucking too. Yeah, yeah. He's no, but too. my point is this: there are movie stars that bomb in the box office, but also for the same thing, dude. Have you ever seen a movie star on a podcast? They yeah. don't get numbers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, yeah. It's like, a, oh, come on, man. This is such a fucking horrible take. Podcasters don't get so. This is the thing, though. I just think these guys overestimated their value, overestimated how well received, how liked they are and stuff, and a level of fame. They just didn't get it. They just think because they're famous and they got lots of views on their views on YouTube and shit, that somehow translates into movies. It's insane because the same would happen if they tried to do TV shows. The views would be equally as bad as the movies because it doesn't translate to just like normie, normal, regular civilians, as they like to kind of tell them. So I think, if anything, the whole Burt Kreischer movie bombing in the box office should be a humbling experience for loads of podcasters, especially the comedic ones, overall, to kind of know, like, you know, it's not as easy as it looks. Because they probably looked at it and thought, why don't these studios just make good movies? Okay, making a good movie isn't easy. There's loads of components that go into making a good movie. It's not just because of your genius idea that the movie's good. Loads of other factors have to kind of play, you know, a role to kind of make those movies work. Um, and sometimes the talent at the center of it, like the podcasters, maybe aren't as good as they think they are. They think they're really funny. They think they're great actors, but they might not be. So maybe actually your talent should be maybe producing movies for other people to do, to kind of act and star in. But you know, these guys love the attention. They love the stardom. They want to be famous in all walks of life. They're not just they're not just like content with having the ability to look after their family by just doing podcasts and shit. They want to be more famous than that. Okay, cool. That's how this is what this is the game though. If you want to be fam more famous than being a podcaster, you have to play this, you know, this kind of mainstream kind of game. And the mainstream game is very difficult. That's why a lot of movie stars don't work out. That's why some people have flop and whatever it may be. So it really should be a learning experience for these guys, but it's not because they legitimately think they're deserving or of that kind of level of success or entitled to it because they get millions of views on their podcast, which is bizarre because what does that have to do with anything really and truly? Um, but anyway, what do I know? Different media. Yeah, you're right. It doesn't fucking work. Unless you're yep. Jason Bateman. Does he do podcasts? Yeah, well, his numbers are oh, oh, but but that wait, here's the deal. So is Dak but Shepard. here's the deal. Let me say this. I, I, I keep forgetting because you guys motherfuckers cut me off, <laughs> dude. The fucking <laughs> you have to start <laughs> as not a movie star is my right, point. Right, right, right. Going back to David Schwimmer thing. If you are a popular podcast person, you need to start as in a supporting role in a movie. Again, I don't believe that. You have to be actually a good actor. That's the thing they're not saying. 
why aren't they talking about actually being good at acting <laughs> can we start there please you're just assuming because you're a good podcaster you should be given roles and stuff like why don't you audition why don't you go to acting school or something or brush up on your fucking public speaking i don't know whatever you need to do in terms of making you a better actor maybe go to a method acting class or something but you have to actually be good at acting first before you actually you know decide to get into the movies and stuff or better or maybe if you get offered a role maybe decide hey i'm not going to just take it straight away let me go into a little camp and do something to brush up on my skills before i take this role you would think so but hey what do i know jump you can't like take just Nictara. yes like tig Nictara. wait <laughs> <laughs> yes you need to you need but no that is true though like but that I kind mean, of a role i say that because you were on your way like you were uh, yes of course he's if that was brendan he would have got he would have got c-clamped this guy is like skating on thin ice mentioning tignatara to chris the crystalia if they said that if you would have said the same thing to brendan he would have got c-clamped <laughs> he would have got a double leg right there in the fucking podcast studio he would have got a fucking um what's that he would have got kimura right there in front of the fucking cameras that was a fucking crazy bar, but he gagged. He kind of gagged Chris there. Let's rewind it. He kind of gagged him a bit, to be fair. Yes. In a, look, a supporting role. Look at, look at Brendan's face. He kind of gagged him. In a movie. You can't jump. You like can't take just. Nictara. Yes. Like Tig Nictara. <laughs> Wait. Yes. You need to. You need. But no, that is true, though. Like but that I kind would, of a role. I say that because you were on your way. Like you were uh, Yes, of course. Transition. Yes. Right. Exactly. This guy looks like he has like beer cans underneath, underneath his bed in it. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie. He looks like he has pizza boxes under his bed. Actually, not beer cans, pizza boxes. He for sure looks like one of those type of dudes. Pizza boxes under his bed, sock, sock, cum rag things underneath his pillow and shit. Like he looks like that kind of guy. I don't know why, but he's he's giving he's giving. I eat my dominoes in bed. And and I knew that by the way. I know you can't just be a star in a movie. Not that I was getting those offers, but like you need to. He has some big offers. The tense. Look at Brendan trying to suck him off. This must be a tense realization of just where you are and how far away you are from everything. This is like bench players talking like starters. So, but it was headed that way. Yeah, but I wouldn't. You can't just all of a sudden be fucking John Wick. You, no, you got to dip your toe in the pool. Exactly. Yes. Even when it comes to movies. Yeah, we get it, dude. I'm <laughs> Chris is hurt. <laughs> it is a tough, tough, sensitive subject. Because if it, the fact the fact remains, if Chris never diddled, if Chris never dabbled in the pedo arts, he would not be on the Golden Hour. This pod wouldn't exist if Chris didn't dabble in the in the fucking pedo arts. I'm pretty sure. I'm okay. with you. Okay. If you say David Schwimmer <laughs> one more time, I'm gonna freak the fuck out. <laughs> he wouldn't be Brendan's friend. Like, that's the face of somebody that shouldn't be there. <laughs> But when you diddle and harass and abuse and run cults and shit, this is kind of your comeuppance, isn't it? A little bit. So it kind of is what it is, isn't it? But yeah, that that is what happened. That's what he looked like. <laughs>